at this hour again that will minister to us. May your name be glorified at the end of this service. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Before us this morning, church, is one of us, Mr. Enoch Waguna of the church, member of the team of our great church of tomorrow, one of the teachers, and a trained uh, teacher by profession. He's also blessed with one female wife. Where are you, Ma? Can you wave to the Lord? Where is she? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And also blessed with uh, three children. So three Blessed with three children. I hand over the mic to you this morning as we hear God talk to us through you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. I know that when you hear that children are having program in this church, most of the parents, you always prepare extra patient in the church and we love you for that truly we really love you because we the children we most of the time don't really know the use of time and that is our habit and we love it the Lord will help us all that we need to hear from the Lord this morning I believe strongly that the Lord through the old administration that has taken place here the Lord must have spoken to us in one way or the other but let me first appreciate the church leadership our reverend the board of elders our beloved shepherds the volunteers and our children without you we will not have this testimony that we have just had this morning so we are appreciating god for being with us all this well and our spoken to us through so many things We've heard in all the presentation makes here, children keep saying, twists and turns, twists and turns, twists and turns, and the next thing is following Jesus changes the games. Following Jesus changes everything. It's not all about what you hear. It's not all about what you're about to hear, but it's all about what will come after what you've heard that the Lord is looking after. If you may ask what is twists and tongues, as we have been singing it, twists, it's just simply a sudden change, a surprise change, and unpredictable changes in your life, in direction, in everything. That today you are moving through this direction and you find yourself in the other direction. In everyone's life, there is twists and turns. And if I told you've not experienced something like that, that then you need to ask yourself whether you are truly a human being in life. We started like these children that came up here. When we were there, the secretary was saying, I was saying, ah, no, is this the second to the last? Is this the last? <laughs> I said, yes, this is second to the last. I said, I want another one. I said, ah, another one. That is even twists and turns. And we look at our colors, they vary. You can look white today, you look black in your experience in life. And by the grace of God, we are still going to look at just this look. We are not going to take much of your time because we are just going to summarize what the Lord has blessed us throughout the week. That some of us who we are not opportune to be with us here, at least we can share a little from it. That same Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. We will put our eyes and we focus most on just a few verses there. We are there. I read. 
verse 1 of chapter 5 of Luke say, And one day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the words of God. He saw at the water edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he said, then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he sat, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep, into deep water, and lay down the nets for a show, or for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we work hard all night and having caught anything, but because you say because you say so, I will let down the net. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their net began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sing. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet, knees, and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. May the Lord add many to his word this morning, our lives in Jesus' name. We are going to just discuss a little about following Jesus changes everything. Following Jesus changes everything. But when we look at the word following, because we have to know what following is to know how we can follow someone. Following is not working side by side. Following is not working ahead of somebody. But following is to walk behind, step by step, learning from the leader who is ahead. Then you follow by his steps. It could reach to a point where, where he stopped. You are also warranted to stop immediately. And when he speak, you are expected to also speak. That is the spirit of following. And in VBS, this program is organized by Lifeway Christian Resources. It's all from U.S. And this year, 2023, VBS, if we check it very well, is centered mostly on games. And in games, when we ask what is games, you will discover that games is an activity. Activity that people, many people can play it, even one person can play a game. But it also involves skills, guides, rules, and regulations on each game you play. And in games, we have so many games. We have simple, we have we, we, we have uh, compound games. We have so many games. 
of which we see of all what our children displays here, they display so many things. And these games have become the language that our children, whatever you teach them without adding to play, it's as if you are just taking their time for nothing. Children are people who like to see and do. They don't just want hearing. And that is exactly what a life of a follower ought to be. That what you see, somebody, you are leader doing, you do same. So, with trees and tons, children play their games, play their ways, through learning, they learn about Jesus, it guides them through, and it makes us to know that in life there will be ups and downs. Zigzag in life. Twist is not as straightforward. It goes this way, it can come this way, go this way. And in games, the same thing when you, you go to footballers, you see them, they'll play just one football like that. You see it going this way, turning this way, turning to the other side, but they are aiming at something. Everybody is aiming at winning. But in all this, you discover that there will be fans. But in games too, it speaks to us clearly that the message, the message of it is over, is not over. This message of it is over has been dealt with through the life of Jesus here on earth. His death on the cross, his resurrection changes all message about it is over. And of which this year, BBS, in all the five lessons we learned, centered on one person, which is Peter. Some of us will say, Kai, Peter, he did not try. We, we saw from the drama of the teenagers here. Peter will rise. Peter will come down. But one good thing about Peter is that Peter, even in all those things, he was not ready to yield to the message of it is over. And as we are looking at following Jesus changes everything. And from the passage we just read, the story is a familiar story that we all know. All the time we know, ah, fish, Peter was a fisherman. Oh, Jesus met Peter at fishing point. But look at it at this point. I was looking at Jesus with the drama that took place between Jesus and Peter here as somebody who is not just a lazy man. And Jesus don't even like what? He doesn't even like somebody who is not ready to do anything. Jesus looked for people who are out to do something. Peter, as a professional fisherman, we know Peter senior Jesus. And we don't even know exactly the years Peter was all taking, doing fishing. But at this point, we had this encounter with Jesus. After Peter just went to fish as a normal thing, which was his occupation, something happened. A game played, and something took place. We learned that Peter, Professional fishermen always go in the night to fish. When the weather is cold, the big fish will leave the, what, the down sea and will come up. And that is where fishermen do their fishing. But in this case, it took Peter all through night, all through night, 
fishing, apply all the techniques that a fisherman needs. But to his surprise, nothing happened. Only for Peter in the morning to see somebody after he has finished wash, he's washed all his nets, mend them, and lo and behold, somebody appeared. Peter has played his own game with his brother and even his colleagues, the sons of Zebedee. And Jesus appeared in the shore. And first thing Jesus could do was not about Peter fishing throughout the night and could have got fish. But Jesus was on what? To do the business of his father, which is teaching the people the word of God. And fortunately, he used one of the boats that belongs to Peter. And Jesus has to do all his teaching. Finish. I don't even know who told him that all that they went through the night, that nothing was caught. Only for him to say, Peter, uh -huh. it is time now for you to do something. Cast your net at the deep. <laughs> and this is where I will ask us, if you were Peter, what would be your answer to Jesus? Aside the one that he just said. You know, Peter always said, we've tried throughout the night and nothing happened. But if I was Peter then, I would have asked Jesus, are you a fisherman? Because it is uncalled for that somebody who is not in your profession to teach you what to do in your own profession. Then you need to, need, you need to ask, where is he coming from? And in our life as Christians, it has been so in our lives. That even when somebody comes our way, the first thing you ask is to know who is this person that is coming to, pick, to speak to me before you grant him all the end. Most of us, we are like that. If it is a professor that wants to speak to you, you begin to arrange your English, how to answer him. But if it is just a common, a, 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 a somebody who has not learned anything, you know, ah, this one, I will show him that I'm something. Peter did not act that way. Peter says, sir, as I speak now, throughout the night, we went fishing. We tried every area, even where you are asking us to put it. Ah, Abba, as my profession, I know where I can put and get it. But immediately, Peter said that. Jesus could not say anything. Peter again said, but at your saying, sir, I will lay down the net. Let me ask some of us, do you think Peter gave his life as we learn about Peter followed Jesus? Do you think that Peter followed Jesus after he has cast the fish? Eh? Is it when he has cast enough of fishes that Peter now begin to follow Jesus. In fact, in a little knowledge, and when I was thinking about this place, I see that Peter accepted Jesus even before casting the net. And some of us, we always wait to see the reality before we believe. Oh, oh now, hey, now that I have seen this, say yes, 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 I can follow. Peter did not do so. He said, at your saying, I will do. Not minding whether Jesus is a fisherman, whether Jesus has ever fished before, whether something will happen. At your saying, Peter became a follower of Jesus even before the cashing of the fish. For him to have obeyed Jesus signifies his belief his belief in Jesus that anything can happen. This 
was the beginning of the twists and tongues in the life of Peter. We heard the story about Peter here. Oh, Peter, who was to go and preach to Cornelius. Peter argued, argued with God. At the end, Peter went. Our children demonstrated here. When Peter, when they came to arrest Jesus, he said, I swear we will die there with you. And as soon as they arrested Peter, uh, arrested Jesus, Peter quickly drew his sword, removed the air of somebody to tell Jesus that I am ready for the action. Within some minutes, Peter withdrew. That even a little girl asked Peter, say, Kai, it's like your face look like those that we are going with this man. Peter said, just to tell you how fear grieves him, Peter called a little girl, woman. Woman, I don't even know what you are saying. Peter became deaf and dumb immediately. Woman, when there is twists and turns in your life, there are tendencies that you begin to do and say things that you are not even expected to do. But even in this, Jesus is saying that so long I have not said to you that it is over, it is not over. At this point, Peter laid in it. He laid in it. And what happened? What he has never experienced in all his fishing life happened. But the most touching things about the case of Peter, even in this place that we just read, is that what was his benefit after he has cashed the big cash only for Peter to left all, all, and follow Jesus. This is where I made to understand and I try to see that Peter, it wasn't those fish that makes him to accept Jesus. But when Jesus speaks to him, Peter believed in Jesus. There are some of us here. You are here seated. You must have had it. Somebody telling you, I swear to God, you will never make it in life. Uh, have you forgotten? You are the person that gave back to the person that gave back to the person that gave back to your father. They were poor. And I'm telling you, it is already in your family. But Jesus is here saying that, with me, with me, all things are possible. But the question is, even after Peter have done the cash, what makes Peter immediately to realize that he's a sinful man. You know, I know in the heart of Peter, he must have been telling himself, a professional fisherman, and I see near you, Jesus, he don't even know that it's Jesus. Self. At this point, he did not even know who Jesus was. But Peter, as, he did, that, as that cash happened, Peter, his perspective changed. He believes change. Everything about him changed. What is your life? What has happened to your life after you've known Jesus? Peter believed and understand that all his understanding are bound to nothing without Jesus. He says, Jesus, I'm a sinful man. Jesus not tell him. Is that same Peter that you see sometimes and criticize him and say, this man, ah, now oh, how, can, how can he be going with Jesus 30 years, 30 and a half years and still deny Jesus? There are circumstances that you have denied Jesus in fact more than what Peter did just in one day. Simply because of what you are passing through. Say games are full of horns. Games sometimes change at any time. 
Footballers, you can, dis you can imagine that when you are watching games, sometimes you are watching your own club playing. And when they are playing, they score one, they score two against the other opponent. And you have seen that they are already in the second half. Two nil. The last 15 minutes, you see the other opening. Who we'll score one. Say, eh? Two one. That is the time you begin to, be, to, to, to complain about all the players. Look at this one. Ah, wow, how, how he's behaving like this. What, what, look at, ah, they don't know that anything can happen at any time. And maybe the last 30 minutes, they equalize. And the last minute, you just see those that were behind. You just discover that, carelessly like that, they are already 3-2. What happened? How do you behave at that point? A friend shared with me his experience in a view center like that. When he was watching ball, Arsenal, we are already 4-0. And they were already in the second half. He was happy because he's an Arsenal fan. He was just watching, watching before he you knows. The others score 3-1, 4-1, 4-1, 4-2, 4-2, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 
God has the solution to all the problems of men. Just can't believe it, and he will, he will fix it for you. The only thing, follow him. Don't overtake him. Don't walk side by side. Follow Jesus. And following Jesus changes everything. In your twists and turns. Jesus is there. And you only allowed all those things to happen before you appear at the show to help you out. Take yourself in the shoe of Peter now. And look at Peter with all his ups and downs. Peter's this time. Peter who denied Jesus three times in just an hour. The same Peter that stood before the congregation and said, This Jesus, this Jesus that you rejected him, crucify him, he is the one at work in our lives. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. What is that twist and turns in your life? Are you making decision to follow Jesus? That following Jesus changes everything. Let's be in standing position as we pray. Let's be in standing position as we pray. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have. Have you made decision? Are you making decision? It is only following Jesus that changes everything. It is only following Jesus that changes the games of your life. The game of followers or failures. The game of discouragement. The game of difficulties. It is only following Jesus that will change everything about your life. It is only when you follow Jesus that you will know that you need more about him. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Throughout the week, Lord, Father, you reveal yourself in so many ways. Showing us your love. Your love. That you loved us even when we were nobody. And you love everyone not minding where we are coming from. Even while we are seeing us, Lord, you love us. You die for us. In our twists and turns in life, challenges in life, Father, we ask, appear, O oh Lord God, Father, in our situation and help us, Lord, to follow you in the name of Jesus. Even when, Lord God, Father, others are saying we will not make it, because, Lord, Father, you have promised to be with us, even to the end, Father, help us and see us through. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Church twist and turns. Church twist and turns. We thank you.
for that wonderful message. We pray that it will guide us and we will obey and we will see marvelous things happen in our lives in Jesus' name. Yes, um, we can see this morning some of our volunteers, the children, we are all wearing um, our beautiful colored t-shirts. And we want to say a big thank you to Uncle Sam for your handwork. Thank you for making us look beautiful this morning. And the auditorium was decorated by Mariam Yangshi. We want to say a very big thank you for...